All right, my safe Cancer, Rising, and Sun. This Taurus new moon happening on May 7th is taking place in your 11th house. And as I've been saying, if you haven't watched the overview, definitely check that out. But I've been saying that this new moon is a lot about our manifestations. And I really feel like there's an interesting thing going on here for you where that is definitely the energy. Some of you guys might be trying to manifest something in line with the 11th house, which has to deal with our community, our friendships, our network. Maybe you're trying to kind of meet new people, things of that nature. Um, or the 11th house can also have to deal with our dreams and things that are kind of far-fetched, things that we really want to create that could help humanity or that could progress our life in a really big way. And so you might also have something come up for you in regards to that that feels like that kind of big audacious dream um, that we're excited about but maybe timid about at the same time. So I really feel like you guys are in this strong essence of the creator because I pulled this card and because this is all about manifestation. So this is a time for you guys to really tap into your power of creativity. And ultimately, all of us, because this new moon is conjunct Uranus and Jupiter and Venus, we are all really tapped into that creator energy and we're supposed to be looking at life through a new angle through a new lens so that could be if I used to make friends this way and that's my goal maybe that wasn't working maybe the people I was attracting weren't the right people so maybe I'm going to go find friends in this new way maybe I join a community of people who are interested in different things besides going out and, and drinking for example maybe I go on hikes with random groups and find you know don't do anything unsafe, but, you know, find people who have those similar interests and who really get along with you and who are on the same page. And I feel like that Jupiter Uranus energy, again, is trying to just help you shake up your methodology or your perspective and your approach to whatever this is, if it's friendship or this big audacious goal in order for this to become a reality. This Taurus new moon is also sextiling Saturn in the ninth. So there is something that you're likely going to have to learn or do in terms of like, um, okay, a few things. First of all, Saturn tends to bring about like responsibilities. So, so there might be some logistics that you have to work out because the ninth house has to deal with things that are foreign. It can sometimes involve like, oh, I have to do all this paperwork and I have to make sure that I cross my T's, dot my I's in order for this to kind of, uh, in order for me to actually like have everything I need uh, aligned with where I'm trying to go. So that's part of this. I think it's just quite literally the work of Saturn of I, I have to uh, put in the sweat equity. Saturn in the ninth is also about building up our self-belief and our self-concept. So if I'm going to go out and try new and different things, I have to trust myself. I have to trust that I know what I'm doing, that I know why I'm doing it, that I have a really strong mission and purpose, um, and that I can stay rooted and connected in that as I'm doing the hard work or the labor. Um, so I know, again, like a like an overarching kind of mission and goal to help guide you for um through this new way of navigating. Another element of the ninth house is a lot about trusting, like trusting the process, um, trusting things that you can't always see. And uh, I think that's a very strong element of faith and optimism. But Saturn wants faith with proof. It can be quite skeptical. And so it's not like we want blind faith. We really want faith that we are showing up for ourselves. We want to give ourselves um, the confidence of results of, okay, I, th I think I can really achieve this because look at this effort I've made. Look at this um, evidence as to why I can do this again or do this in a different way or uh, try this new and different thing and take this risk because I have this other evidence of things I've done. Um, Saturn in the ninth can also talk about, again, learning something. I don't think I really went fully into this, but some of you guys may not quite have like the full skill developed around something. And I think that this is the case for most of you, how this will translate. There's some uh, underdeveloped skill. And I see this with the six, the eight of pentacles in reverse. There's something that I feel like you guys have been maybe procrastinating on or you, even if you've been doing it, it's like you could be overly slow and perfectionistic about it and um, have a little bit of a harder time making progress because I also have the page of pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of cards around like doing the work that are reversed. So there's a sense of like 
these these cards are showing that there's some skill that's underdeveloped that you need to put more time and energy into. If you've had failures and things of the past um, or, or insecurities, this is your time to learn from those, to work harder, to overcome them, to kind of grow. This is Saturn in the ninth house. Grow as a person, develop yourself as a person, give yourself the evidence of why you can succeed, uh, kind of literally like develop the skills to have that evidence. And I think that you'll find that this helps you with your resilience to a large degree at this nine of wands and will help you achieve this, this common goal. Maybe not common goal, but this goal that you have. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. It's like, it's putting in the work on yourself and on this skill and giving yourself direct proof and evidence as to why you will not fail this time around if you have failed in the past. And that could apply to anything in terms of goals, friends, whatever this, uh, this is related to for you. Uh, we also have Mercury and Chiron on the North Node in Aries in your 10th house. So wherever we're having this placement for you guys, this is in your career sector, also a sector related to government agencies and authority figures and adults, basically like your parents, things like that. Um, not that you're not an adult, you're probably an adult. Um, but Mercury and Chiron together tend to bring out our insecurities. So you guys might really feel like you are comparing yourself against like a really impossible standard. Um, so you might be looking at maybe, let's say you wanted to do something with having a new friend group, but maybe you're looking at some, some person online or someone in society that has like the most amazing friends and they go on all these trips together. And it's like, you're comparing yourself to something that feels really well developed when you're in process. And it's trying to say that it's important not to get like insecure and not to let society's standards and expectations or standards and expectations of agencies or other people in your family or just people outside of you that you look up to or that are like above you in some way, above you in quotation marks, hierarchically, or that have something that you have. There's a sense of like looking to them and them and then feeling insecure or them telling you something and it getting in your head and making you feel like you're not doing the right thing or not good enough. So this is really trying to like be healed. I, I think I pulled the six of pentacles because I really feel like there's something here around believing that you also have as much to give as they do or that you are wor just as worthy as they are or that the people that you're comparing yourself to we're in this place that you were at at some point. There's this sense of like, I am equal um, that you're trying to come into and ultimately trying to, to learn from. And I feel like once you're able to, with this four of wands, really recognize like what makes you special and you unique. This is a card about homecoming. This feels like coming home to yourself, like seeing what makes you great. And this feels like the opposite of the 11th house, which is the fifth and very often in astrology, the house opposite to where we're having something take place has some kind of antidote to what we're experiencing to help balance the energy out. So with the 11th house, we can really focus on a lot on others or have a comparison to others. Um, we're just in influence of others. And with the fifth house energy and this, and that is reminding me of this four of wands. It's a lot more of a focus on our essence, on our gifts, what makes us special, what makes us unique, and really kind of like soaking that up and owning that in a very proud and confident way and creating from that place. Because ultimately, you're not going to attract the right people if you are not honoring what makes you unique. You're not going to be able to manifest your dreams in a unique way if you don't even see the uniqueness in yourself. Um, so ultimately, I think that that's what this new moon is about. It's about giving yourself the evidence that you can succeed by developing the skill, but also by honoring what is unique about you in particular in order to be able to accomplish whatever said goal is. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. Before you hop off, I want to let you know I am offering two new readings, a medical astrology reading and a fertility reading. So if you're trying to get pregnant or heal yourself in some way and you want supplemental support, I am always here. You can uh, check me out at at cosmicclarityastrology.com or I will link that in the description box down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below if it resonates and have a beautiful day. Bye.